worked hard today. Straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario Vlogs, number 536. Been thinking, number one. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Interesting day today. Took my steroid today. Went up to the hospital for my infusion. And yes, came through the car parking situation reasonably well. I'll mention that later. I always remember a quotation from Henry Ford. And Henry Ford said, thinking is the hardest work of all. That's why so few do it. So today, it's not been a particularly outstanding day in terms of things I've done. I haven't done anything too different, but I've spent a lot of time thinking today. And there was a New Zealand politician that wrote a book called I've Been Thinking. Um, however, some people... Uh, sort of ribbed him a little bit and sort of referred to it as I've been drinking. So just to um, reassure you, no, I haven't been drinking today. <laughs> um, but um, I have been thinking, and one of the things that I thought, or one of the little, um, I often think about things, and I thought I'd like to include that in my vlog. So what I've done is this is I've been, th or been thinking one. And I've put a picture of um, perhaps my all-time um, favourite thinker, um, Albert Einstein, in the background to, to kick it off. So from time to time, when I, I need to have little mechanisms to keep my vlog going forward and things to do. Um, so I've got various things that I think about. And today has been a very thoughtful day. And uh, as I say, I've got Albert Einstein there as my, um, I guess, my number one thinker. And uh, he says uh, many things and has said many things. And I, I think he, I read one of his quotations which said this, but not in so many words. And the definition of insanity is continuing to do the same thing and expect a different result. And so that's been a large part of my uh, thinking today as to what, what can I do differently to uh, get a different result to move things forward and to change in that. Now currently um, what I'm doing is I'm working on my diet and I'm going, oh, I will vlog about that a bit further when I'm further down the track, but certainly um, I'm certainly changing up my diet. Um, I was on steroids today so my thinking was sometimes accelerated, though not too bad. I think I've come through in my best yet um, way, and it's um, subject, I think, a little way to what I've been eating. So um, doing that, and I'm hoping that then this will move forward into other aspects of my life. I want to try and uh, reduce this amount of time I spend on my um, my work, my, my, my paid employment, as I feel that I'm um, spending far too much time above and beyond what is expected there, and I'm just trying to make that a little bit more efficient so that it'll give me time to do other things in my um, in my life like sort of exercise and home maintenance and stuff like that. So I've been, as I say, been doing a lot of thinking today um, and some of that thinking I've um, actually been doing with my eyes closed <laughs> just in a little way. So I have um, had a, yesterday up at the hospital my uh, blood pressure was very low and they were a bit concerned about that so but today it was much better and I've been doing a little bit of thinking along that and I've got an appointment with my GP next week and and things like that so um, just trying to put everything into perspective and had a day of, of 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 thinking about things as well as a few other bits and pieces so um, I've been think I'm um, been thinking I've got to not say I've been thinking been thinking number one so uh, First of all, I've told you about my number one thinker is old Albert there, and my favourite uh, 
quotation uh, from Henry Ford there, which I use quite often, uh, thinking is the hardest work of all. That's why so few people do it. So I started off today by I've been working hard today, but um, I have to say a lot of that time I did spend with my eyes closed, which is uh, the nap question is one that's been coming up quite a lot lately. But uh, gradually, so I've got to get uh, got a lot of work to get done next week. So let's have a look at the the diary. And uh, I didn't do any lawn mowing today. I find it's best on the day that I take my story of steroid to keep um, physical activity to a minimum um, in some ways, as it um, just lets my things settle down. Um, but I still managed to do one five seven one steps and. Uh, made an interesting observation that, um, which I probably will follow up in a later vlog, that each step represents one calorie, according to my uh, thing there. So, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. I've been thinking, number one, and we're going to have a bit of a brain teaser in honour of um, thinking. This one will take a little bit of thought, I'm thinking, unless you know the answer, of course, straight away. So it's both a teaser and a riddle, actually. Uh, 173 is a who, and that's uh, still open at the moment. Um, nothing much there on uh, other videos and uh, there, but the infusion. I've uh, been up for my infusion, which reminds me today, and I may uh, vlog again a bit later on about the parking. So the parking system's been totally changed. Um, I can drive in, and when I push the button to get my ticket out, it pokes out a lot further than it um, used to. So now I can grab it with one hand, whereas before, because of my dexterity issues, I used to have to get in with two fingers. And, and what I remember, high 3.5, high 3.5. That's my my message there. So um, that's really good. And I, and I go in and park my car and what have you. And as I said yesterday, the tickets are not magnetic, so I can put my card by my phone and it won't affect it and I went in to pay and that all went uh, pretty well and the, the guy the Sunday guy was there the guy that gave me all the gin last time I was there so um, I um, sort of th said that the system was going pretty good but he wasn't um, particularly confident about it, it wasn't didn't give a oh yeah it's bloody marvelous sort of confident reply he was uh, more, uh, yeah, a little bit circumspect there, so there may well be some glitches in the system. So anyway, I got all the way down to the um, to the gate to get out, and I wasn't that eager to put my ticket in. I dropped it on the ground, <laughs> and I couldn't open the door of my car because it was I was close to the machine, so I didn't have to lean it. So I had to back up and then get out of my car, find my ticket, and then when I went to put it back in that particular machine it wouldn't go so I backed out and went to the other gate and put my ticket in there and fortunately opened the gate and it uh, removed so um, the system uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, every time they make the system foolproof they just in better, invent a better fool me <laughs> but anyway so I got on out so that was um, uh, I had a bit of laugh, a bit of a laugh at myself there. I can't fault the system, um, and that's probably what sponsored me to be thinking about how I can uh, improve things better, better for me. So, uh, yes, that was a little bit about the car parking. Now today's challenge, and uh, it's coming up here. There's one that, um, well, yes, a sundial has the fewest moving parts of any timepiece. The sundial has the fewest moving parts of any timepiece. The little stand-up bit in the middle is a bit of a trivia that I've picked up along the way. It's called the gnomon. G-N-O-M-O-N or E-N? The gnomon. And which has the most? Which timepiece has the most moving parts? Yeah. You want to think about that. Now, yesterday's challenge was, again, in the nature of a riddle, but you did have to think about it. You throw away the outside, eat the inside, and throw away the inside. What I am I? Well, corn on the cob. 
And, uh, you know, if you buy it, well, with the uh, unshucked, or as we do here in New Zealand sometimes. Although today I... Um, now, this uh, quite... Quite coincidentally, I've um, as my diet, I bought some uh, corn on the cob from the grocery shop. Usually, it's quite expensive, but it was well. I can remember when it was twenty cents a cob, but this was round about three bucks a cob, uh, three bucks for three, so a dollar a cob. And uh, so I saw that and I bought it because I was at the at countdown today, and I came home and then I checked my um, checked my. Um, messages on YouTube and Moz had answered this question with corn on the cob. Now I'd totally forgotten about it. Absolutely, totally forgotten about it. So the power of subliminal advertising really came to the fore here. I, it was, yeah, just um, just made, it made me think. It was part of my thinking today. So um, yeah, Moz got that um, one pretty, pretty Pretty smart chap there, and he incorporates it into his column, into his um, comment. You should go and just read his comment there. It's he does a bloody good job. Um, he's coming on well, that boy. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's uh, it really adds something to my day to see that effort that he puts in there to make uh, to incorporate his comments into the. As answer into the comments, you'd have to go and have a look, but it's very well done. And thanks very much, Moz. I much appreciated that. So that brings us to, uh, to the end of um, today's uh, today's vlog. And uh, well, I've been thinking. And uh, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing and watching and joining in and commenting and all those things that you do. It um, well, it certainly makes me happy to uh, interact with you and to see and to uh, and to get them and to respond to them and uh, go and have a look at the channels of people that are um, writing these comments when I when I get uh, when I get time so um, yes thank you very much all good and uh, well we'll see you again tomorrow smash that like folks Cheers.